Hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm the center photographer, just a dude with a camera. Okay, this is a follow-up to my free roadside yucca video. They've been in water soaking for three months with not too much activity. Enjoy the video. Thanks for watching Filet TV. Okay, this is going to be kind of a dark video today because I am in the shade because it's blistering hot outside. Anyways, this is three, a little over three months on these free roadside yucca stumps. I hadn't given up on them, but there had not been any type of activity. The only thing I'm seeing is there's lots of these, which I can't tell if they're the cocoa fiber or roots starting out, but these weren't hanging down here before. And a couple of them, when I took them out of the water, they looked quite long. So this is my favorite one here. There's no roots going on. But I did notice that, I mean, it's just starting to get really hot around here. And these have always been in the shade. And if I feel them, they're cold to the touch. So they're in more of a dormant stage. We do have, you know, a couple of sprouts coming off of here, which have turned into pups. And this one also at the bottom, it had some fibers that were not there before. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of these in the dirt. But as you can see, they're all still nice and healthy and still alive. And I think that they've just put themselves into dormancy. Okay, there's one of my arrows just to make sure. So some of these I'm gonna continue in the water now that it's warming up. And some of them I'm gonna go ahead and pot them up since I have a lot of soil. And I'm gonna put these over here in the corner with soil and see if that speeds things up a bit but there are a couple of them here that I wanted to keep separate for myself so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these up and then we'll come back and we'll look at some of these other ones that I did before as well as some of the new pups that have been growing over the last six months I've decided to take six of them and put them in a six-pack milk crate here to protect them and what I'm using for soil is just whatever I have. I remember my dad was in construction, so we always had a bunch of construction sand sitting around. So I throw that in my soil. Literally has cement and everything mixed in. Just They always grow great next to walkways and patios, and that's what I'm using for my soil. So I'm going to take six of these. Remember, I have all the arrows pointing in the correct direction, so I don't put them in upside down. And these have been in water for three months. So we're going to put these out here now that it's getting warm and we're going to see how long it takes to get any kind of growth out of these. And there's no trick here. I just take one of these weed pullers and I make myself just a little starting mark. Again, remembering which direction your arrow goes. And you get the point. Pretty simple stuff here, guys. And I'll even put one of my makeshift lids on there. That'll keep the squirrels and birds from looking for worms in the dirt. Freshly planted dirt is what my critters around here love. I could feel that these are a little soft on the top. They're still really firm on the bottom. So I'm going to go set these off. Somewhere where the rest of the yuccas grow. And we'll keep an eye on them. And we will plant these three in this two gallon squat or three gallon squat pot right here. Put that into the shade in another location. Okay, then these last five will get put back into a pot of water. I'm really not sure which one. Maybe I'll find that stainless steel one I used last time if they'll fit. And then we'll keep an eye on these for a little while longer, like I said, that's after three months. So then I go ahead and move some of these into the shady area, let them recover for a while, then I wanna get them to the heat because I wanna generate 
a ton of humidity in this black nursery pot. And this is the last one that I did where I took my favorite ones, the one that had a little bit of movement and a nice top on it. I took a young pup from last season and then I took with the stump that was starting to branch out here. And I put this in one of the pots that I put my maples in to get them to grow. Be kind of decorative on the patio, I think. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. Here are sort of the other ones that I have put together in these little squat pots. I'm going to put one on each corner of my gazebo here during the summer. Follow that over here, and this is the growing fields for the yuccas. My next video, what we will do, we'll strip all the leaves down because it looks like it's about time. And we got weeds growing, tons of cups growing, and we have Rex as our special guest star today. I wanted to show you real quickly. Last month, I cut the tops of these off. And you can see how much is sprouting. And look at how many pups in just a handful of months. These I started trimming some of the leaves off. But I'm going to go ahead and do a video and clean all these up again. Get ready for the summertime. So there you have it. A follow-up to rooting my yucca stumps from the free roadside yuccas I got in Thousand Oaks. As well as a little follow-up of what I'm growing to release in the wild out in the deserts of Southern California. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you on Instagram at Filet TV channel. Thanks for watching, Filet TV. Ciao.